okay so this is working so based on the selection of the user or uh, element you can run specific code within the add-in to do certain tasks in the work current workbook for example or if maybe pull in something from based on these parameters or criteria you can pull in something from external you know like sources okay I'm gonna close this and now we will talk a little bit more on how to construct this dynamic menu now let's try the dynamic menu um, these are combo box but instead of that we'll try the dynamic menu um, so quickly going back to our um, RavenX uh, episode for um, VBA just quickly give you a demo so this is uh, a dynamic menu that we constructed that is on runtime okay and if I go to the code uh, da -da. yeah this is the one that runs this is basically all string as is a demonstration so we can reuse uh, the callback as well as this and the example is also here by the way in this uh, in the same page okay dynamic menu and as you scroll down get content is what we want to use and uh, this is um, uh, example line so going back here instead of this combo box we're gonna have the dynamic menu uh, get this content we'll just leave it as it is label is already there maybe yeah, I'll just leave this as it is okay you can assign more properties uh, you can set set image you can assign the size normal large and all this um, and then let me go back here and copy this signature again remember this should this should be uh, public and this let me just copy this and then we'll try to get something dynamic from the current sheet uh, workbook uh, dun -dun. let's make this the function because we want to return something and this get content menu should be the name of the code and we need to prefix this Okay, uh, for now I'm gonna leave this as it is. And then we want to return, oops, XML. Okay, first let's try this. Control F5. So this is our dynamic menu. Uh, callback signature mismatch. Okay, let me recheck this. So it looks like the signature is not same. Let me just leave it like this. Um, again. No loading is gravity. Okay, we have assigned the image in the source here, and uh, this was done using um, our custom UI editor, and we've already set the image. So if we want to use the custom image, then that's um, we have to approach differently. Okay, I don't think we need to even open that. I can directly change this MSO. Let me change all this graph. Let me change all this to. Let me quickly replace this. Similarly with this. This button ID as well need to be all 
unique. Otherwise, it's going to give an error. Okay, so all these are <laughs> set to smiley, um, but you get an idea. Okay, so now we can loop through whatever, you know, like the current work will get us. Um, if there are more sheets, it will list the, the name of the sheets here. Okay, let's try that. Let me go ahead and delete all of them, all these lines to somewhere here. We'll make this part, we'll look through the sheets and then we'll assign a value here. Uh, so let's start off for, let's call this sh as uh, excel.worksheet. In this ends dot, um, sorry, let's start from globals. This setem dot application dot worksheets, and we'll bring in here like this. So the button ID can be the sheet name. Oh, sorry. So remember this single code which is here, and then. Um, I'll set the label as well. This I'm gonna leave the this as it is, and we can also put on action. Oops. Go here and on action. So the order does not matter. It's case sensitive though. Just remember that. And let's call this dynamic item. This is gonna be the the code that will run. We'll take care of the signature in a bit. Um, da -da -da. And then here we need to invalidate the controls, otherwise it's not going to refresh this. Um, no, I'll just leave it as it is. Let's see if it is working. First I'm going to add multiple sheets. Unable to cast. Okay, just give me a moment. I think it's just here. Uh, this is this not in return a string. If this doesn't work, we can try to make a variable. Okay, let me specifically um, so button button name and the syntax seems to be okay. Looks like some assembly is missing. Let's import some more. Um, 
we'll import office interlope and maybe specific to Excel. Let's say Excel equal to Microsoft interlope. And this is going to be okay because it doesn't seem to understand at the moment. I'm going to start up again. I'm not using the error handlers now so that we can directly. Okay, it looks like it's working now. Um, more sheets okay sheet four sheet one five okay now upon selection we can activate the sheets as well maybe we can try with a new workbook so book two book one um so here we have only one sheet okay button one is static okay so these are all dynamic for the image MSO, you already know where to find it. In the same link, you'll find a table as well as uh, uh, a visual, you know, like um, menu which you can see gallery where you can choose the image. Um, okay, so let's quickly take care of this um, da, 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 on action dynamic item. Here, whatever is chosen, we can um, we'll try different method here. Um, whatever control was selected this is basically going to return the name of the sheet and uh, for the first button it's going to call um, here we don't have action button so it's not going to do anything even if user clicks on it um, call demo button no action and for this one it's going to call this one and which is this um, so we'll try to use um, Maybe we'll try with a simpler approach first. Um, uh, globals. Active. Uh, we don't want to select the active sheet. Um, act workbook sheets and maybe this let's see if this works diagnose match now let's try another approach let's try to hook um, the workbook using uh, uh, get VSTO object method and we'll see if that works um, let's call the native workbook as a Excel workbook Okay, let's try this once. Ok, 
Okay, this method seems to be working. Um, three, two, six. Okay, let's try with the new workbook as well. Sheet eight. Okay. Now let's move on to edit box and then the checkbox should be simple after that.